Hi moms and dads, Dr. Vicki here welcoming you back to another video from Parenting from Z to A. Here is something that you will never say to your child. You are not capable of doing that by yourself and you need me to do it for you. Am I right? Yet, there is an epidemic all around me of parents who are inadvertently sending this message to their children through their actions. There are times when our children truly need our help. And there are many other times when they really can do for themselves if we convey our belief in their ability and then get out of their way. I'm talking of parents of two-year-olds and 17-year-olds and every age in between. In an effort to be a good mom or a good dad, many of us are helping in ways that are not in our children's best interest. Let me give you some examples. A five-year-old can tie his shoes, but dad still does it because it takes him too long. An eight-year-old can get dressed himself, yet mom still picks out his clothes and supervises the dressing. A 12-year-old can sleep in his own bed, yet mom still makes up the couch next to her bedroom for him to use. Or a 15-year-old can do her own laundry, yet mom's afraid she might shrink something. I can go on and on with examples of parents who really do mean well, but are actually stifling the development of their children's independence. And in many cases, these children are feeling incompetent, incapable, and frequently anxious. They're not learning to stand on their own two feet to be responsible and conquer fear and adversity. Instead, they are learning that they need mom or dad to do it for them. On the other hand, what's a parent to do? Isn't our job to help our children? Absolutely. Is our job to hamper development? We shudder at the thought. Yet when we do for our children what they can do for themselves, when we buy into their fears and insecurities, or when we rush to solve problems they experience, we're basically telling them, you are not capable of doing that by yourself, and you need me to do it for you. Which is exactly what we said at the beginning of this video we would never do. Children need our help and guidance. They don't need us to do it for them. Your five-year-old can tie his shoe. That's great. Your eight-year-old can make his own fashion statement. Terrific. Your 12-year-old has a bed of his own. He needs to learn to use it. And your 15-year-old can do laundry. So what if her white shorts are now pink? <laughs> Each and every one of these children is learning to do for themselves. I see many anxious children in my practice. These folks are asking to sleep in their parents' bed, requesting their dad walk them back to the bathroom, and needing their parents to attend birthday parties with them. And these are the parents who are agreeing to do so. When they do, they are reinforcing their children's fears of going it alone. Instead of going along with the request, parents need to convey their belief in their children's ability to handle these situations. Then, they need to help their child master the task. Sitting with the child afraid to sleep in his own bed, or walking the child partway down the hall to the bathroom, staying at the party until the child is participating in the activities are all examples of efforts to wean the child who feels he needs you. And praising their accomplishments and efforts conveys to them that it is okay that they did for themselves. It can be extremely hard to step back. Many parents feel that if they are not doing for their children, then they are no longer needed. And that is the farthest thing from the truth. Children need us to back away. The more we are able to do so, the more useful we are. Remember, our job is to work our way out of a job. So what are you doing for your child that she could do for herself? How can you begin backing away as you convey belief in his ability? 
What are you already allowing your child to do while holding your breath or biting your tongue? Congratulate yourself on doing what's in your child's best interest, even if it's difficult to let go. Until next time, think about how your behavior tells your children you believe in their ability to handle things for themselves. And remember to nurture your caring connection. Send the message of competence. Help only when necessary and step back as often as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed it or learned something new, please hit the like button and share with a friend. It really helps out the channel. For more videos and tips for parenting toddlers, teens, and in-betweens, be sure to check out our other content and consider becoming a subscriber and ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of our videos. For affirmations, announcements, and conversations to have with your kids, follow me on Twitter at ParentingZ to A. And if you'd like to join a community of supportive parents looking to be their best just like you, come and join our Facebook community. Link in the description below. I'm Dr. Vicki. Until next time, enjoy your kids.